So we decided because we have so much lard built up in a freezer, uh, so, so much pork fat, an entire small deep freeze, if you saw that other short, um, one of the things we decided to work on is candles. So uh, we experimented with different ratios of beeswax to lard. Uh, the biggest reason being because you can do just a straight lard candle um, and we've already burnt a little like tea light one that we poured from some extra lard at the end um, and they burn just fine. Um, and they still hold the scents just fine. These ones are all vanilla scented, sweet vanilla. Um, but the issue that we had read about and what we experienced with this control one that we made, we want to be able to directly, uh, I like being pretty specific when I can. So we've got everything from 0% beeswax up to 30% going in 5% increments. Um, <clears throat> and the lard one is really soft, uh, which would be fine for a poured candle. Um, but like you can tap down on it. I have hair. That's one downside there. The candles are catching all the hair on my hands. Um, it's really, really soft. You can just tap it down. So I'm worried about, because we will sell these. These will go up on our store shop. Uh, it'd be a great way for us to take farm products that would normally just kind of sort of go to waste. Like they're just sitting in the freezer because we cannot eat the amount of lard that we produce off the amount of pigs we get. Because sometimes even our customers don't ask for the fat back. And so we always do because we don't want any of our pig stuff to go to waste. Um, so we get the fat back even from customers if they don't want it, right? Like it's always just a, hey, if the customer doesn't, you know, doesn't want this and they're just going to have you throw it away, then I want it back and we'll pick it up with ours. So over the years, we have accumulated a lot of pork fat. Um, so we've started making the candles, uh, suet feeders or suet cakes for birds and uh, uh, soap again. We used to make soap, uh, now we're making it again. I'll do a quick little video on that in a minute. Um, but as far as the candles go, we could go just lard uh, for our household use, and they'd be totally fine, or even maybe for local sales. But at room temp, the lard is really, really soft, okay? So I worry about shipping these. Um, so even if somebody bought it, like, as a, you can see my little finger divots there. Um, but it is very, well, it's like, it's like bacon grease in a jar, essentially. Um, very, very soft. You can plunge a knife right into it. So I worry about that shipping and just melting all over and just becoming a a nightmare in a package. So we're not going to go with that. You can mix beeswax in to firm it up, but everything I could find was just like some beeswax to firm it up. Um, and so like I wanted to be a run an experiment here and do these different ratios because I want to do the minimum amount of beeswax possible while still getting a firm enough candle that we can ship them um, while still being mostly lard because that's that's the resource we're trying to use here and push although we have found a local guy that we're going to buy our beeswax from so it will be local beeswax so that's awesome um, <clears throat> the five percent as could be expected it is a little firmer but still soft enough also um, i've been tapping these for the last couple days uh since we made them and i did a lot of masonry the other day so my hands feel just terrible from it because uh, i often use my hands to move things around um and really get in there. I'm not real great with a trowel, so I use my hands a lot um, <clears throat> to make up for that. And so my hands have felt terrible, but I've been rubbing the wax and lard mix in. Probably shouldn't because of the scent. Um, it said something about not good for skin contact. But, I mean, they say that in everything, so I don't, I don't know. Anywho, it feels really great, so maybe we'll try making some, like, skincare product stuff too, because that just feels awesome. Anywho, 5% <clears throat> is still pretty soft. 10% is not bad. Like there's there's a little bit of soft, you can see my fingers kind of making an, an impression there, but it's a little firmer. Um, man, rub that in. The 15%, however, <clears throat> gets much noticeably firmer. Still fairly soft, but much noticeably firmer. The 20% is where I think we've hit it. That's like, I, I have to really push to get a whole lot of movement into that one. And then the 25%, honestly, feels like a normal candle, like what you just go buy at the store. That's very firm. Um, the 30% is solid, like really solid, like definitely store-bought candle solid. Also, we were burning that one last night. Um, so I think that I'm going to go with the 20% for now uh, because that is the lowest amount that I felt was like, oh yeah, we could ship these and it wouldn't be an issue. Um, we don't want to use anything, same as in our, well, well, I guess we'll talk about soaps in a soap video, but we don't want to use anything crazy, crazy unnatural. The scents are already is what it is, but uh, I'm not going to have an unscented candle. Um, so we got to use the scents. We'll start looking for some really nice quality scents that are 
that are the minimum amount of chemicals we can do, but um, I like that I can get local beeswax, so I'm not feeling like I'm having to use the store-bought beeswax that's imported. I think the little bag we bought to trial this all out on before we found our guy uh, was like brought in from Vietnam, so like really, really far away. Don't like the idea of it having to ship and get that many food miles on it. That's, well, food miles, uh, product miles. So <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do that to minimize it so that then really all that are in these candles is the wick, the little holder at the bottom that keeps the wick in place, our lard, local beeswax, and then the jar. Um, and I think we'll probably try to work something out where like if you send the jar back, you'll get a discount on uh, future candles or products from our shop. That way we help encourage people to recycle the jars in a way that's directly being used, not having to be melted down or reused. Zero energy beyond shipping would be required. So yeah, that's that's it so far. We've been burning the 30% one last night um, and they burned great. We This jar was way too big for a single wick. Probably should have put two or three wicks in it, uh, but we didn't know. We thought about it. When we were doing it, we were like, oh, I bet that's going to be way too few wick for that space. And it was. But these guys should be about perfect. Um, another thing also is that the uh, the higher percentage lard, from what we were reading, it renders across the top evenly. So the higher percentage of lard we can get, the less it will do that. <clears throat> the more beeswax we have, the more it's going to do that, where it craters and leaves stuff up on the edges. So we're going to burn these over the next couple of days, and that will kind of help make me make my final decision to decide before I go making another big batch, which will be sandalwood, whether or not we really want to go with the 20 or maybe drop down to the 15 <clears throat> because I want it to be able to ship, but I also want it to melt pretty evenly across the top so there's no wastage. So there you go. Um, I'll keep you guys updated as we kind of decide what we're going to do with this. Um, I found some really neat uh, post-recycled, post-consumer recycled content jars that are shaped like this but are green which, you know, green is kind of our thing. So um, I think that's what we'll go with. I'll order some of those. For now, we're just making them in, in the mason jars. So the first round of ones that we make and probably sell will come out of these mason jars until they kind of pay for buying some nicer jars. <clears throat> but uh, they're the same, they're the same volume. So yeah, there we go. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you find this interesting and get out there and make some, make some lard candles. Uh, honestly, if you're just your home, like I said, just you can just use your lard. All we did was render the lard uh, and then added the scent, which we just got sent from Michael's. Um, and for these size jars, so for your half pint jars, uh, the scents from Michael's, it was like three, three and a half milliliters, which if you're on a farm, we just used a little syringe because um, <clears throat> you have plenty of those laying around. So there you go. Yeah, that's it. And then the wicks you can get there with the little holders. Uh, so super cheap and easy. And so like, I think these have labels. Yeah. So my wife has been buying these from work and these candles are 20 bucks a piece for a little half pint candle. So that right there was like a hundred and $140 worth of candles, just rendering a little bit of lard. So I'm pretty excited. We won't sell them for 20. I think we're going to go for like 15 or 12 or something. Um, although I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm shorting myself. Let me know what you think in the comments. <clears throat> Beyond that, you guys have a great rest of your week. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you to our Patreon patrons, uh, Raymond and Ashley Hunter. Your support is super appreciated. And so are all of you that watch and comment and like our videos. You guys have a great week.